Welcome back to Teaching Orchestra. We're here in the teaching lab and in this string crossing exercise, we're gonna learn how to cross strings and lead with the wrist. Okay, so first we're just gonna practice the motion. What kind of motion does the hand need to do if we're string crossing with the wrist? All right, so let's go ahead and set our bows on our laps. And for cellos, we're gonna pretend like we're stirring a pot. So we're gonna be stirring the pot here Stirring the pot, stirring the pot. And for violins, we're at a different angle here. So we're holding the pot up here, and we're stirring the pot up here with the left hand. So you have to set the bow on your lap and just kind of stir the pot. Good. Or you can pretend like you have a sparkler in your hand and you're drawing ovals. Okay, you're drawing ovals up here. And if you want to do Slurs, you know, you can do figure eights or you can do whatever the bowing pattern is. Stir the pot this way, stir the pot this way, stir the pot this way. Okay, now once we get the motion figured out, we're going to go ahead and add the bow. And we're going to go from open D to a double stop with D and A, just to make it simple at first. We're going to do small little concentric circles and just stir the pot, stir the pot. One and two and three and four and one. Two, and ready, and go, and. Now we're gonna practice going from that double stop to the A. So double stop A, double stop A, double stop A, double stop A. Get that wrist motion going, stir the pot, and keep the elbow in that neutral position. Two, and ready, and go. Once we get comfortable with that, we can go straight from D to A without the double stop in between and just stir the pot, stir the pot. Okay, lots of wrist motion. Stir the pot, cross the strings with the wrist. One and two and ready and go. So if you're doing something like Corelli or Vivaldi or something that has a lot of rapid string crossings back and forth that might be too fast to lead with the elbow so we have to lead with the wrist and this these exercises are a good starting place to develop the technique to be able to do that so i hope you benefited from this and i hope you understand when to cross strings with your elbow leading with your elbow when to cross strings and lead with the wrist all right we'll see you next time